Hey, good morning, friends. So today I'm going to be shooting a video on how to um, make an automatic closer for a fence gate. So, um, and I'm going to try and block the sun. I'm having I'm backlit by the sun this morning, but this is the best time in the morning to get out here and do a project. So, forgive it if it flashes the camera and makes for, for less than ideal video. But the issue I have here is I have a pool behind here and I have lawn guys who just can't remember to shut the gate and um, that bothers me. So I'm going to do something that I have done in the past where I use a inexpensive hardware spring and some um, uh, hook eyes. That's not really what they're called, but anyway, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some hardware to mount a spring to the gate and it's a very effective closer. The only thing you got to watch for is when the spring starts to rust and get brittle, replace it. Don't wait until it breaks, because if it breaks in the right point, it'll snap and pop somebody. Um, and uh, that's not going to happen here, because I've got this, this privacy cloth that's over my fence. And um, at any rate, so first order business is to remove the privacy cloth. It's just up here with uh, zip ties, and it's not really a big deal. Um, to, to cut these and pull them off. Um, they're just Harbor Freight zip ties and they actually work pretty well. So let me let me start that part. Okay, a little different camera angle. I don't know if it's going to be a whole lot better. But we'll see. And if you live in a community that does recycling, these, these ties are recyclable. So they can go right in with your regular recycling and avoid going into landfill. Alright, so I think I actually need... No, that's, that's enough access for what I'm doing today. Order of business is to drill a mounting hole and I'm going to use a 15, 16, 15 64 inch drill bit that's quarter inch hardware. Um, honestly, this is the only drill bit I could find, so that's why it's being used. So I'm just going to drill it approximately a little bit above this because I'm going to mount right above that. And then we can drill through this. These are called eye bolts. Sorry, I couldn't remember what they were called. And I'm just going to test it. Oh. That's not quite big enough, so I need to step up on my drill bit. Let me do that and I'll be right back. That was a pretty stupid mistake. 1564 is a 64th smaller than a quarter of an inch. It's early. So um, I've stepped up to um, a 3 8 which is 6 16 Okay, so what I've done is I've run a nut all the way in here, and then I'm going to add a washer, and this is going to give it a good um, stop point on the hardware. And I'm just going to run this through and finish it up on the other side. Okay. Okay, so this is the spring I'm going to use, and because this will eventually have to be replaced, I'm just using S-hooks, and you just close these with a pair of pliers, and you can open them with a screwdriver or another pair of pliers, and that just makes them really easy to live with. So I'm going to see if we can squeeze this in here. It does take a little bit of force, so you should use a decent set of pliers, or use a smaller S-hook. Alright, so that, that's good there. So, next what you want to do is figure out where this should land, and that is probably about the right amount of tension. So I'm going to go for the third one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through here and uh, install an eye bolt. So one of the things you can do if you, you'll probably have trouble tightening this, and so you can hold it with a screwdriver. And i got to get a deeper socket. So I can't find the deeper socket, so I want to show that you can do this with a wrench and a screwdriver. Um, not everything requires a power tool, it just makes things go faster. So this is perfectly fine if this is all you have. And um, I just wanted to show that like this is really not that big of a deal. So there we go. So 
So this is actually the hard part, and you do want to use pliers with this, because if this gets loose, it'll take a piece of skin with it. There we go. So now at this point, I've got a decent amount of pressure on this. I'm going to go ahead and close my eye. And you can see, it wants to pull my gate closed. So at this point, if somebody pushes the gate open, it's automatically going to close itself. Okay. Now, I've got a little bit of work to do here. I actually need to add some reinforcement so that this gate will close on its own. That's another project for another day. But at this point, what I've accomplished is, my, you know, nobody's going to leave my gate open. Because it's going to auto-close on its own. So if somebody comes through here, and it's just going to pull it off close, no big deal. So that's all there is to this. I'm going to go ahead and zip tie this back up. I don't think that needs to be videoed. So this is probably a $10 project, so it's a really inexpensive closer. It works on all doors. So if you have a door in your garage that you want to put an inexpensive closer on, yep, this this will do it. You just need to really watch these springs, and when they start to wear out, replace them. Don't wait for them to snap. Because um, it just, you know, I've never had any, I've used this on probably 10 or 15 doors, and I've never had anybody get whacked by one. But, you know, uh, it, it's just an ounce of prevention. It's worth a pound of cure. So, um, you know, this is all Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware type stuff. I got this from Home Depot, so it's just a, a short eye bolt here and a longer one here. It's sized to be a little longer than the depth that I need, so I can put a washer and a bolt on both sides. A couple of S-hooks and a spring. They do come in different sizes, so if you want a bigger one, you can put a bigger one in. I didn't think that was necessary, and it seems to work just fine with this, this smaller, heavy-duty one. So thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this helpful and informative, and good luck with your project. Have a great day.